have Travis's Striker SR-497, and he sent it in to install the AC Mod 7. He wanted a little more bass or bottom end out of his audio. So providing he gets a good dynamic mic for his truck, it should do just fine. And we'll go through it uh, briefly and show you how to install the AC Mod in it. First thing we do is we install a 2N 3904 NPN transistor seen right there in the junction of C239, R299, and R508. The emitter will go to ground via a small hole on the board on the left side. The base, the center pin will go to that red cable which goes into a 10k ohm resistor and a 1n4148 diode with the cathode towards the transistor side and the other side of the red wire goes to am 8 volts tapped right there uh, next to connector j103 uh, that am 8 volt signal is split uh, seen here it's split into two and the other side comes to the AC mod board to the remote input right there next to the yellow LED to turn the AC mod on while on AM and it will turn it off on FM here we have our audio output from our onboard uh, mic preamp and that goes uh, via the coax cable to our line end jack, in this case a 1 8 inch um, line end jack to the uh, switched pin and the unswitched pin goes out via this coax to the AC mods audio in. And uh, here we tap for the PTT. Right there, that pad via that brown wire and we route it to this connector here that we added for our external PTT. Um, over here, underneath the fan on the left side, the gray wire is connected to our driver's VCC for the AM modulation coming out of the AC mod. The red wire goes to our power to the AC mod board. We will mount the TO22 MJE3055 and mount it on the rear heatsink via these cables due to the fact that we have no heat sink on the side and we've mounted the AC mod here right on the side. That pretty much covers the installation of the AC mod seven on the Striker SR497. Let's go ahead and test it. So we'll key up. Let's lower the receiver audio here on the 7000 key up. Right now we have it at a 10 watt dead key. And uh, we'll go ahead and run the SIG gen. And as you can see there, we have our 100% modulation. If we have some asymmetry and we have our almost 40 watts there on the meter, as we raise up our asymmetry, we can see that's 150, 200, 250% modulation. It's back to 100%. And as you can see, as we raise up the asymmetry, our power also goes up. That's 100%. That's 150. That's 200. And then we go beyond this meter. Uh, 250 gives us almost 80 watts there of PEP power. For this build, the mic gain should not exceed three o'clock right there on the left side that right there right now we've set it as per Travis at two watts of dead key there we have the two watts of dead key on the bird and uh, here we have a reference and uh, oh do you want to there you see we we're doing about 250 percent modulation and no pinching no clipping 
and uh, here you can see that uh, we have about uh, 15, 16 watts of audio PEP. Audio 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, audio 1, 2. There it went up to almost to 20, but try to keep it around 16 watts of PEP power. Here in the rear panel, we've installed our line-in connector right there. We've used a 1 8 inch jack uh, due to the space limitation on the 497. And also the RF power factor, our big uh, quarter inch jack connector will be susceptible to a lot of RF interference. And here the other 1 8 inch jack is for our PTT, for an external foot switch or mouse. So that's our SR497 HPC with the AC Mod 7.